All right, so now I get the other end. Gonna install that. This particular male end. Get a teeny little screw. This whole thing just pulls out of there. It's kind of a weird one. I'm using a uh, bigger slotted screwdriver. And get more more torque on it. Open these babies up. Silver and gold, silver and gold. This reminds me of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for some reason. Okay, so this thing's got to go through here first. So put that in there first because when you assemble this that's going to go right on there. So, about uh, that much. Yeah. Just enough to I'll cut this back, just enough to put those. Paper, spread those out a little bit. Action pack, I have to go back a little farther because I gotta, gotta make a loop on them things. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a pair of dikes. Sharp. Sharp dikes. Kleins are really good. My snap ons are pretty good too. In fact, these are snap ons, are they not? I also have these nifty difty wire cutter crimpers, strippers, which are really nifty difty as well. This is actually the right tool for the job. Sweet little pair of needle nose. Which I have lost track of. What do I do with my needle nose? Well, you know what? Just have to use these then. Ah! There's a lot there. Alright, anyway. So. Righty tighty lefty loosey. You're gonna turn this, twist that little sucker there, and that is gonna go into the terminals. Same with that one, same with that one. Maybe they could use this needle nose though, because I need to reach up in there. <laughs> All right. Silver and gold. Gold terminal is hot, or the line. Silver is neutral. Green is ground. So black goes to the silver. Gold. Gold. You can see this mess. I'm gonna knock everything over the place. What can I say? First thing I have a I have an excuse on Polish. I also have a tendency to put things in the way too much. Okay, tighten that one up. I said I like to use big flat screwdrivers because it actually holds better. So righty tighty you want to put those so that when you tighten up It's trying to roll that around it. It's time when he wants to loosen up a little more. I 
number. Alright, so I'll just straighten that up. It'll curve around there. It's really nice to have it curved around. And then as you tighten it, it'll pull the curve even better. And the same for the ground. Sometimes it's easier to use the pliers themselves. Get up under there. Alright. Verify black to gold. White silver, green to ground, squeeze those down a little bit. This connector goes over the top, this cover. Hmm. It's bumping in a little bit. What is interfering? Things are starting to bump into things. Squeeze it down a little bit. Let deform that a little bit. Will that help? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Looks like I'm having a little bit of an interference problem. So, I don't know. I can take that. Actually, get that on the other side of those. Just squeeze them. Could just do that and see what happens. So I just squeeze those parts in a bit. Seems to be maybe the issue. Technically, I suppose those could have been run through those little slots. That doesn't look right to me. And that did that. You can tell because the little hole lines up for the screw. And we're done. We have our female end, which is going to plug into the outlet up there. Runs over to my little splice into my light and once I've run this back up there we'll be good. <laughs>